Who is the king of reggae? Bob Marley. At the age of eight, he came to change. The library is open from like 2 o'clock till 7.30 and the kids come and most of them stay the whole day and so it's their place. The kids feel like they're part of a bigger world and they dream, they think they can do lots of things because they can see people that look like them in different parts of the world doing all kinds of things. Part of Marley's legacy is this idea that a boy from Kingston could help to create a sound that resonates across the globe to give young people the sense that we can do it, we can be whoever we want to be. You could call out one hand the amount of people from uptown who've made a, a dent on the industry. It's definitely come out of, you know what I mean, the underprivileged from the garrisons come from the ghettos. And I think that's the, that kind of defines the typical Jamaican in, in a certain sense. Even when we're not educated, we have ability. Jamaican people find a way. 